took this theater up to 35,000 feet and dropped it, it would not put down. <laughs> Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today, for the first time on this channel, we're checking out Dave Allen on airplanes. I have no clue who this geezer is. Let's go. When I fly, I don't want to care about wide seats, short seats, reclining seats, how much booze they're going to give me, what food I'm getting. When I fly, three things I want to know. Will the plane take off? <laughs> when, it, when it's up in the air, will it stay in the air? <laughs> and when it comes down, is it coming down where they said it would come down? <laughs> That's all I want to know. <laughs> Get on aeroplanes. Good. The language. The language of airlines. Planes are never late. Have you never said? They're delayed. <laughs> You get on the, when they, the tape, and there's always, you see, there's always these words that they use. Words are very important, the psychological, wordy. You get on an airplane, sitting on the runway, ready to take off. That's when the hostess always tells you about the things that can go wrong with the plane. <laughs> they never tell you that when you're buying the ticket, do they? <laughs> they never say, the wings could fall out, or oxygen will fail. None of that. They wait until you're sitting there. Not only are you sitting there, but you're strapped. <laughs> you're strapped into this bloody thing. And then under the guise of talking about the doors, they're giving you a blessing. See you know? I'm sorry. <laughs> It's crazy because like, I'm guessing this was probably like at least 20, 25 years ago. Just like late 80s early 90s maybe and it's still so relevant today it's ridiculous that's mad wow that just shows how good you are i never knew this geezer was is he i think he's british he's british he's a british american i'm not actually let me the accent again sorry these words of uh if by chance if by chance the pressurization of the cabin drops, oxygen will be provided. That's bloody nice of them, isn't it? <laughs> They've got you up to 35,000 feet. They're about to asphyxiate you. No, we'll give you some oxygen. And it's all that oxygen will be provided. If an oxygen mask drops down in front of you, please place it over your nose and mouth and breathe. <laughs> Where else, for Christ's sake? That's the only part of your body you can breathe through. You're not going to stick it on your arse. <laughs> <laughs> and breathe normally. Normally. Can you see yourself 35,000 feet? And these things drop out of the roof like used contraceptive? <laughs> and you're going to go, oh, look at that. Oh, that's interesting. The pressurization of the cabin must have dropped. They're providing us with oxygen. Oh, oh. Very interesting, isn't it? Yes. Crap. Let me tell you, if you're sitting there at 35,000 feet and those things drop down in front of you, the first thing that happens is your anal nerve goes. And on a jumbo jet that is five hundred anal nerves. <laughs> so the quicker the thing you get that thing over your nose, the better. <laughs> Words like emergency landing. Have you come across that? And also, what do you guys think about the fact that they tell you to do your sports before doing your kids? Like if I'm traveling with my little kid, I'm going to put the mask on them first. I'm not going to do mine first. What do you guys think about that? No chance I'm gonna have a little five, four year old, you know, try. No, I'm not gonna do my, I'll do theirs first. I don't know what you guys think about that. Emergency landing. Emergency landing. It's clever wording. It's an emergency, but it's a landing. They've got you down. We're pros. It's an emergency. We've seen you through. We've got you down. You don't have to worry about things like that. Emergency. 
Somebody says emergency to me, crash! <laughs> That's what it is, crash! <laughs> emergency landing, hit, thump, wallop, bang, bump into. <laughs> We're about to make an emergency landing on the side of this mountain. <laughs> Lovely things like, make sure you your safety belt is fastened. Can you see yourself going through all this? The plane is coming in. Cuban. Your table is stowed. <laughs> Seat is in an upright position. Make sure that all the crockery and glass things you give to the hostess. Hostess, excuse me. <laughs> We're coming into the side of a mountain. Will you take my glass away from me? your teeth out. <laughs> they don't say take your false teeth out, they say take your teeth out. <laughs> People sit there with spoons going. <laughs> place a pillow on your lap and place your head on the lap. You see that? Sitting there coming into the side of a mountain with your head on your lap? That's so you can kiss your ass goodbye. <laughs> yourself. Brace yourself. <laughs> what did you do when you hit the mountain? I braced myself. That's right. Do you know that an airplane, after 18 hours of flying, is just filled with vomit, defecation, and farts? <laughs> that's all it is. It hits the side of a mountain. That's why nobody will go near it for days. <laughs> The un have you heard? If in the unlikely event of us having to put down on water, there's a double doubt there, isn't it? If unlikely, put the two. The if unlikely, put down on water. Put down. Put down. Leaves put down. Thistle down puts down. Feathers put down. Jumbo jets? Have you seen one? It's as big as this theater, for Christ's sake. If I took this theater up to 35,000 feet and dropped it, it would not put down. It would bury itself in the bloody ground. That's what it do. If in the unlikely event of us having to put down on water, you will find your life jacket under your seat. And then they show you how to put it on. You place it over your head, you take two ribbons, you circle the body once, tie it in the bow on the left hand side. And they do it. <laughs> Can you see yourself coming out of the sky at 900 miles an hour? You seen the Indian Ocean? It's enormous. It's black and nasty and enormous. It's got waves, huge, gigantic waves following each other all around. And you look at your safety card and you have landed in the Indian Ocean. Your captain has managed to find a flat piece. Your plane is flat. All little blue waves Sorry. all around. Just thinking of that, that's scary. That's so scary. Like, what would you actually? Oh God, that's so scary. That's on. And I fly a lot, I fly, especially from Ireland to England. And I'm always having to cross the ocean. I don't know what the, what's the ocean called. I, I can't remember. But yeah, I fly like at least every three, four weeks. And I don't want. To, it's one of them. I'm so used to it. But anything could go wrong, man. That's scary. It's so scary. Wow. Found it all pretty. <laughs> The yellow slides coming out of the side of the airplane. People going. <laughs> the dinghy with a bell tent. Children say, Mommy, we're going camping in the Indian Ocean. <laughs> you see pictures of the people leaving the airplane. <laughs> it's an asshole with a briefcase. 
<laughs> and the hostess was saying, thank you for flying in this <laughs> The one thing you never see in all that is little black fins, do you? <laughs> you never look at those pictures and there's little black fins all floating around, do you? If you get on an airplane and you're looking at the safety card and it has black fins on it, I have been there before you. <laughs> That's what I do on airplanes now. I get the safety cards and I draw in little black fins. <laughs> and I get a red ink and kind of put little bits of red in it. <laughs> And for your added safety, while you're in the Indian Ocean, they give you a whistle. <laughs> in the Indian Ocean? Miles of nothing. Huge waves. <laughs> Rescue plane, 40,000 feet. One thing I've always, always you hear about, but any sort of mishap with airplanes, the one thing that they always find, the only thing to get back, is the flight recorder, don't they? The black box. They always get the black box back. It's waterproof, bombproof, fireproof. It is totally indestructible. Now why don't they put wings on it and let us fly it? What an ending, what an ending, what a guy, first time checking out Dave Allen, what a guy, I never heard of him, literally, I'm so glad I checked him out, it's so, so funny, so, so funny, let me know any other Dave Allen stuff, I don't want similar to Dave Allen that you think I would really like, I love checking him out, it's good, you know, getting to know these comedians, man, I'm really enjoying it, if you guys want to see more, you know what to do, comment below, like, subscribe, I'll see you soon, bye-bye.